Hey guys, my name is Nathan Hernandez and welcome to my channel. So I've gotten a few requests to do a pedalboard walkthrough and so here it is. I'll be going over how I approach reverbs, delays, overdrives, and a lot of other fun effects. So make sure to stay to the end of the video where I dial in all of those effects. If you like the video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe. Alright, let's get into the video. Alright guys, well this is my board. I'm going to be playing through my Telecaster today. So I have my right out and my left out both going into my Scarlet 2i2 going straight into Logic. And then from this cable go straight to my guitar. So the picks that I use whenever I'm playing guitar, uh, they're called Herodom Picks by um, a company in Germany. I buy these picks off of stringsandbeyond.com. Uh, this is what the pick looks like. What I really like about these picks is that it's got some really nice texture on the on the ends all over the the pick. Um, so whenever you pick a string, it'll like grab on the string and it'll make a really nice um, picking effect. And that's what I really like about these picks. So the first thing that we'll talk about is my board. The board itself is a, a Duo 24 by Temple Audio. Uh, I have, I've had this board for about two and a half years already. I really like how slim and durable it is. Um, never had any other board. I've always stuck uh, with tempo boards. So we'll go ahead and start with the first pedal, which is my Deep Six compressor. It's the third version of the, the compressor of the Deep Six. Uh, all of my knobs, I, I try to keep them all the same around 12 o'clock like my levels at 12 o'clock blend is at 12 o'clock tack um around one sustain around one between two o'clock and then my tone is around 11 o'clock i'll go ahead and play uh without the compressor and then i'll go ahead and turn it on <laughs> Here's what it turned on. So yeah, that's my uh, compressor. So straight after the Deep Six, I go into the volume pedal. What I really like about this volume pedal is that it fits really nicely on my board. I like the, the size of the volume pedal. It's not too big, nor is it too small. Uh, it's just right. And then uh, it goes to my tuner, the in uh, input of my tuner, so that way I can have an always on display, um, making sure that I'm always in tune. That's what I really like about that as well. So the next pedal after that, I go straight into an Octaver. Uh, this is an Octaver by Moor. Um, it just has a sub octave and then an upper octave. This has a fat, tight, and swell knob. Uh, I usually like to keep it on the fat knob, that way it's, it's, it's not losing that low end. Um, and I find this setting to be really good. It sits really good in the mix. So I'll go ahead and play my clean tone. <laughs> Here's what that engaged. So here is how I would use this pedal in the context of a song.
So that's my October. So straight after the mower, I go straight into my overdrive section. I go straight into my Benson preamp. Compared to all my other overdrives, this uh, this pedal, it just brings so much low end uh, to, to my signal. And I really like that about this pedal. The settings I have uh, for this pedal is, uh, I like to, I have the volume all the way up, almost all the way up, the drive a little before nine o'clock. I cut a little bit of the high end and then uh, for bass, it's a little bit over 12 o'clock. So I'll go ahead and play uh, just my clean tone and then I'll engage the pedal. So here's my clean tone. So here's with the Benson. So here's how I would use this pedal in the context of a song. And from there, we go straight into my protein. This is version 2.2. .2. So the first one is on the blue side, which is a blues breaker. And then the green side is what they call the Nashville overdrive. So the settings that I use for this pedal is I have the level at around one o'clock and then my gain a little over nine o'clock. So I'd say 10 o'clock. And then on the green side, I have my level at around two o'clock, drive at nine o'clock. As you can tell from all of my drives, I like to have the gain and the drive significantly lower than my level. I do this to push the amp a little harder, so that way I can have more of a, of a clean yet gritty sound whenever I'm digging in and, and playing hard. So we'll go ahead and Play with my clean tone and then I'll go ahead and engage the blues breaker side. <laughs> So the blue side, I usually run as my first or second stage. It depends on uh, the type of song that I'm playing or where and what part of the song that I'm playing. So with my drives, I I like to stack drives. I know uh, some people, they like to have some drives separately, but 
Uh, for me, I like to stack my drives. I'm very picky on what I like to stack. So I usually like to stack the blue side and the green side. Uh, it gives a really nice, fat, uh, gritty sound to it. Um, I'll go ahead and play clean real quick. And here's with both the blue and green side turned on. So this is how I would use the protein in the context of a song. So that is the protein overdrive. And from the protein, we go straight into my Superbolt. So I have a total of four drives. This Superbolt, I would say, would be my first drive. Uh, this is probably the overdrive that I've had the longest for about three years now. So the settings that I have for this pedal is, my volume is at around uh, one o'clock, drive at around uh, nine o'clock, and then my tone is at around maybe between 10 and 11 o'clock. What I really like about this pedal is it's different from all my other overdrive pedals. So this one's very transparent. It's not too too heavy on the low end and it's not too bright either on the high end. Uh, that's what I really like about this pedal. So I'll go ahead and play my clean tone first and then I'll go ahead and engage the Super Bowl. <laughs> Okay, here's the Super Bowl. As you can hear, the Super Bowl is very transparent. It's not too gained, but yet there's still some grit to it. So this is how I would use the Super Bowl in the context of a song. So that is the Super Bowl. So the overdrives that I stack together are the Super Bowl and the green side. Um, with the green side being more of a darker overdrive and the Super Bowl being more of a transparent, open overdrive, I think that they sound really good together. And so that's why I stack those together. And then if I want another overdrive, I'll stack the blue side. Um, I never stacked the Super Bowl and the Benson. I just, I don't think they fit well together. Um, but with the Benson, I stack, um, I stack the blue side and the Benson together. I think those sound phenomenal together. And, uh, if I went a little more overdrive, I'll add the green side. So from the Super Bowl, I go straight into the JHS Juliana Stereo Chorus. So I recently just got this chorus pedal. I really love that it's stereo. Sounds really good in the ears. Sits very well in the mix. I tend to have a lot of chorus whenever I engage this. As you see, the depth is at around three o'clock. And then that that's really it for this, this pedal. 
It acts as a chorus slash vibrato, but I only use this for as a chorus pedal. And then it also has a tap tempo for the rate that you want for the chorus. So I'm gonna go ahead and play clean and then I'll engage the chorus pedal. <laughs> So here's the Juliana engaged. So yeah, that's the Juliana. So as you can hear, I have a lot of chorus. I still need to sit down and uh, mess around with the knobs and see what else I can change about the chorus to make it even sound a little better. So this is how I would use the chorus pedal in the context of a song. So from the Juliana, I go stereo out into my L cap uh, strum and delay. So the way I get stereo into my chorus pedal is I have a Y cable. So from one cable, it splits into two cables straight into my Juliana. So I really like this delay. It's very simple to use. That's what I like about it, the simplicity. I only really run it on one mode and that's on the eighth notes. I have my the knobs straight up at 12 o'clock. I don't really change the knobs. I like to just keep it all at 12 o'clock the same. I have the mix of my delay pretty high at around two o'clock. I do that because I really like the way it sits in the mix. So I'm gonna go ahead and play with just a delay. <laughs> So that's the L cap from Strymon. And then I go stereo out from my L cap to my Big Sky. And I also have this analog Endiverse. It's an expression pedal for my Big Sky. Um, I have this to go up or down. Uh, and then this is the middle one to turn off and on. That's the expression pedal by analog Endiverse for the Big Sky. So with the Big Sky, I like to make my own presets. So I use three reverbs that I use. So I have a small, medium, and then a large reverb. So I have them named Cloud 1, Cloud 2, and Cloud 3. So Cloud 1 would be more of my small, maybe even to medium reverb, and then cloud two would be more of a medium reverb. And then cloud three is more of a large reverb. I also make song presets for, for certain songs. So I have one for Raise a Hallelujah, Graves into Gardens, Lion and the Lamb, and a few more. I'll go ahead and play the Raise a Hallelujah preset. So that way it can give you an idea of how I approach making reverb song presets.
Okay, so this is my Cloud One Reverb. So here is my Cloud 2 Reverb. And so here is my Cloud 3 Reverb. So I also have a swells reverb as well. So here's what it sounds like. And lastly, here is my shimmer reverb that I made and it sounds really good. So this is what it sounds like. So Cloud 1, 2, and 3 are my main reverbs that I usually use at church. So from my Strymon Big Sky, I go stereo out straight into my Iridium. So the amp that I'm using for the Iridium is the chime setting. So I have IRs loaded into this Iridium. The, the IRs that I'm using is on the left side, I'm using Tone Junkies, uh, Gold Alnico Fat with the 57 mic in third position. And then on the right side, I'm using David Hislop's 2x12 Green 545 in the third position as well. I've been using this one for quite a while. I really like how um, it, it, it offers a lot of low end. Um, some of my other IRs that I've loaded in, um, they don't have as much low end as the one that I'm using currently. And so that's why I really love the one that I'm using right now. On the B section, I'm using uh, all of Dave, David Hislop's IRs. So I'm using, on the left side, I'm using a 2x10 um, G10V with the 45 mic in the third position. 
And on the right side, I'm using 2x12 green 545 in third position. So I was using these IRs whenever I first started my YouTube channel, like my very first videos. Um, so from what you hear from that, I'm using David Hislop's IRs. And then on cab A, I'm using Tone Junkies Gold Fat 57 uh, in the third position on the left side. And then on the right side, I'm using York Audio's Matchless 2x12 um, H30, the 57 mic in the third position. So we're back onto the IRs that I use. I'll go ahead and play that for you, add some little bit of reverb and delay. So here's my clean tone. And for that playthrough, I was on the middle pickup. Um, I'll go ahead and play the bridge and then I'll switch up to the neck pickup. Okay, and then we'll go to David Hislop's IRs. I'll go ahead and play the middle pickup first, and then I'll go to the bridge, and then I'll end off with the neck pickup. And then here is the last one, cab A. Uh, this one is the Gold Fat, uh, Tone Junkies, and then uh, York Audio's Matchless. <laughs> Thank you. 
chime A setting uh, with the, your audio is this one's a little bit brighter than all uh, my other ones. I'll either use this one whenever um, I want something bright or uh, the song requires a bright guitar. So I'll either use that one. And for the settings that I'm using on the Iridium, I have the, the middle knob at around nine o'clock, treble at around 11, and then bass at 12 o'clock. And then my drive is a hair off of 12 o'clock. And so that's how I run the Iridium. I go stereo out from the Iridium under my board into um, the side of my board over here. Um, and then I go uh, out into a stereo DI into the PA. So I'm gonna play a few different types of tones. Um, I'll add some overdrive, chorus, octave, different types of delays. So that way uh, it can give you a little bit of an idea of how I would run um, all my effects uh, through a service um, and how I would use them. So that is my pedal board. Let me know down in the comments below what y'all thought about the walkthrough, share it with a friend, and I'll see y'all guys in the next video.